My name is Oshawn Mathis. I'm from Maynard, Texas, which is where we are right now. Um, love it here. Uh, from the get-go, I would like to start off by thanking everyone here in Maynard for the major support they've shown me throughout high school. Um, without them, I wouldn't be in the position I am in today. Um, recently, I've entered the transfer portal. I'm from TCU, looking for a new school, down to my final two options, which is Nebraska and Texas. And um, hopefully we can find a new spot for me to be at and where I can ball and be one of the next legendary defensive events to come out of whatever school I come and go to. Too. Ochan Mathis. Ochan Mathis, TCU transfer. Current number one player in the transfer portal. He's a big time recruit. Starting off at five years old, I was, uh, I was the type of kid who was very quiet, very outgoing, very empathic over others, and just growing up was a bit tough since we were growing up in a low-income family, single-parent household, one single mother. Uh, she raised me, told me how everything works, and showed me the real ropes in life. And. That's one lady I could say is my rock and someone I can die for and do anything for. And that's my mom. For one point, she, she really did a great job with my family, me, my brother, and my sister. It was only three of us. I was actually first experiencing my t first time with the football. And it was a Nerf football. It was one of my favorite footballs my dad had brought me for Christmas. And I remember times where I would go outside and play and had the best time of my life. And not knowingly, knowing why this football was such an important tool to me. Actually getting that opportunity to go outside and play with my friends has allowed me to become more social on and off the field. My mom decided to move out into the country. Payment and just rent was becoming too harsh for my mom to stay in that area. So she relocated us out into this small town in the outskirts of Austin. And it was a small town that I wrongly pronounced as Manor. But at the time I got that, re, uh, I got the right way to say it, which was Manor, Texas. Um, after that, being introduced to the new aspect of sports was so cool to me because I know my mom and my dad were major sports freaks. My grandma was a sports freak. My gr grandpa was a sports freak. They all had the opportunity to go to college and play sports, but fell short. And in the aspect, I wanted to make my mom proud. I wanted to make my dad proud. I wanted to make my grandma proud of something because there was so much negativity revolving around us as a family. So bringing something to light, which was me joining sports and doing things outside of going home and selling drugs or anything, I thought to do something else different. Um, An aspect of just coming back, you know, I was able to come and actually come home after the first time I tried out for football and how excited I was to tell my mom that, hey, Ma, I made the first cut. She didn't seem that excited, which made me go harder. It put me in a better position to actually want to strive to make my mom even more proud than she actually showed at that point. I told my mom I made the second cut. After that time, she was, she was extremely happy because it was after that time I was actually on the team. I made the team and I was like, wow, wow, I made the team. This is my first time playing sports in general. It was seventh grade, able to do that and just come in and make a major impact on the team. But just seeing the light at the end of the tunnel was the major goal. And 
that's what I went by. I went by every day being a new opportunity to take advantage of something and being able to just know that any day could be your last day to live and that's how you should live by and what you should live by always because all the progress you can make can just be taken in an instant. You know, where I come from is a low-income family and which we're always reserved into low-income neighborhoods and you know we're residing those you know gun violence and all that stuff so being able to come here and make a team was such a big ideal for me and my family as much as it was for me I was able to continue that on to my eighth grade year having 20 sacks at by the end of the season uh, looking forward to coming up to summer workouts this next summer to come up and make my new head coach proud, which is Sad Jackson. Coach Sad Jackson. He was able to, um, me and him was able to talk to for the first year or whatnot, but it was on and popping when we first came in. I remember coming in and my mom brought me up to some workouts after I was so nervous to show up. She brought me in and I see this big, white, bald, muscular guy, one foot, if I can, if I can so how he was. He was sitting here with a muscle shirt. He was sitting here with a muscle shirt, hold on. Okay, there was a little technical difficulties right here. Y'all yeah, see this anyway, so. He was sitting here, one foot on a big basket, whatever, uh, box jump, sitting here just eyeballing me as I walked in, was just, just mad. I was like, mom, why'd you bring me here? <laughs> I was like, what, am I, like, what is this situation? Like, what do I do from now on? She told me to go in there and fight. She told me to go in there and fight my, my ass off and, and whatever I do, just believe in myself. I didn't know what that meant at the time. I felt like it was something mediocre to think about, just believe in yourself. And it just irked me to even hear that. Every time waking up in the mornings to work out was one of the hardest things ever. And uh, I just always remember the words, believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. I had to constantly keep telling myself to believe, believe, believe. and. It was hard at times to get up in the morning and just want to just go off the current quote of just believing yourself. But till this day, I want to thank my mom for telling me that because in that aspect of things, like I really learned something from it. Seems like dreams are just unfolding in front of me and, and it's something crazy to experience. And just knowing that the words believe in yourself is so generic, it can actually mean so much to someone if they actually go by doing it. So getting the opportunity to come out here, getting to the point where I got to my sophomore year, ending the season with 15 sacks and JV in my first year, coming to my first year on varsity was against Rouse High School. Leaving out of there with seven tackles and two sacks, didn't even understand what those stats mean. Didn't, didn't understand what they meant at all. But I just kept playing with the idea of just becoming the best there ever was in the nation in my year, in my class. And that was something I went by. So from then on, I just uh, continued to do what I had to do and just go home with a smile on my face telling my mom how great the game was and have her sit down in front of me and, you know, just put a smile on her face and just, just have that warmth just grow inside of me, just growing because I actually brought a smile up on my mom's face after all we've been through in our life. So, yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's real deep. But yeah, just getting to that opportunity and after that year, ended the season off with what, 71 tackles, 
10 sacks. Scouts started coming at me. We had a new coaching staff come in. My, new, my old coaching staff left out and so much stuff was happening so fast and so, so hectic. I was, I was lost again. I was put at a stamp still because I feel like there was something there that was taken away from me. Got to the point where in, at the end of high school, I mean, during the next year, my senior year of high school, I was able to produce and able to actually influence my other friends who were on the team with me to produce as well, putting them in a position to earn a scholarship. Some of them took it, some of them didn't, but at the end of the day, I seen the growth in them and I knew how much of an impact I had with my just positive energy and positive tone with others and how many lifelong relationships I made with so many people. And just having that now has put me in a better position to have supporters who are still supporting me to this day. So I'm here, I'm now uh, here in the transfer portal, ready to get it going. Had my fantastic few years of, of TCU football and that was the best times of my life, I kid you not. First year was just, first year was a, uh, a bowl season, cheese bowl, best thing I've ever been through. First time riding a plane, all that stuff was great, but that also has to go to the point where it has to go out the door and I have to look for a new journey in life. This new stepping stone I'm gonna have to take in order to make myself grow and be in a better position to put my mom and my family and everybody in a better position is to actually find a new school. Now, after thinking about it, after thinking about so much, you know, I've had many people in my ear telling me this, telling me that, telling me this, and I'm like, ah, man, I, I can't really tell you as much as I want to what school I'm going to choose, and, but it comes down to my decision. And you will be soon to find out my decision. Oh, man.